What is up, internet? You're watching Lemon Bracket. My name is Dan Fletcher, and in today's episode, we're going to look at what is HTML and what it isn't. Code. Okay, so before we get started, let's make one point very clear about HTML. It is not a programming language. Uh, I ran out of space and then did that and I spelled programming wrong. But that's not the point. HTML is not a programming language. Keep that up here for now. It might seem very obvious to a lot of you already, but I figure we might as well get that part of HTML out of the way before we discuss what actually is HTML. It's not a programming language. So you may have heard of a lot of apps or seen a lot of articles about how HTML5 can be used to make games, can make web apps. Um, HTML5 is just awesome. And you've probably seen built with HTML5 uh, somewhere on the web. Although it is true that you can make apps with HTML5, that's not the complete picture. It's a little more complicated than that. HTML in itself is just markup. So what is markup? I'm done standing. Anyway, so I have here this document. And it won't focus, but I'll read it to you anyway. It says, John Doe, Jane, Jane at fakewebs.com, meeting for 2 p.m. today. Hey, Jane, just want to confirm that our meeting on deciding what music to blare in the office is still on for today. I really think we should stop playing Nickelback. Good call, John. We're meeting at 2, correct? Thanks. John. John Doe. Professional slacker. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, extension 1, 2, 3. Joe at fakewebs.com. Fake websites, Inc. Most of you probably figured out that that was an email. Um, it's easy enough, by the way that this is formatted, to figure out that... Uh, our top part here is probably the sender of the email. That the second line here is probably the receiver. Meeting for 2 p.m. today. It's easy enough to deduce that that's the subject. Um, in here, from Hey Jane down to Thanks John is the body of the email. And then down here, John Doe to the fake websites inc. would be the footer of the email. And as humans, we can we can figure that out easily. We don't need any instructions on this page to tell us what is what. I'm just going to take a second here to introduce everybody to Bella and say, hi. This is the stranger lying on my bed behind me. So it's easy enough for humans to figure out what the contents of an email are and what the different sections are, like the subject, the body, the footer. Um, even even up here, we can, we can figure out the, uh, the sender, the receiver, and the subject line together would be like the header of the email. And we don't need any help to figure that out. But how do you tell a computer the difference between all of those lines? The answer is a markup language like HTML. So let's actually look at an example of how this email would be implemented in, in HTML. Okay, cool. So welcome to the desktop. Let's, um, I'm going to open up my command line. Don't get freaked out over this. You don't have to know anything about what I'm doing here. Um, I'm just going to make make a folder. So this is as easy as just opening up your file explorer in Windows or in Mac and then just making a folder. Um, we'll just call this email. That's, that's fine. Email, and then I'm going to open up my code editor. Close the welcome and just like we did in in the first video in this series we're just gonna make a file and call it dot HTML and I'm gonna call this index dot HTML this time so um, starting with the top of the email I'm going to make 
the header. And we're going to cover a little bit more um, about what what exactly it is that I just did there um, in the in the next video when we get into actually creating like a real web page. Um, but basically, just to cover it briefly, um, most tags in HTML, tags is just what we call these things. So you have your open angle bracket, your closing angle bracket, and then the name of the tag inside. And this whole thing together creates the opening tag. And then this, this tag down here with the slash before the name is what we call the closing tag. Um, and that's most HTML tags come exactly like this. There are some um, that actually don't have a closing tag and you'll understand why in a later video. Um, but yeah, for now, we'll just say header. Um, or actually, you know what? Let's back up, let's not go that far yet. Let's just write out this email. I'm gonna pause the video while I do that. because you don't. Okay, so here's the email just written out in plain text in my code editor. And actually, I'm just gonna stop one second. Um, so in the very first video, we actually just used Notepad. Um, here I'm using a code editor. There actually is very little difference between what I'm using here in this video and what we used in the first video. Um, the main difference here is that my code editor just gives me some, I mean, it's a nicer environment. Like you can see I have my, um, if I add more files here, more files. Um, I can quickly access the, the files that are in this project. So I have my little file explorer on the side. Um, delete that. Get out of here. Uh, we also have, you're going to see once I start actually writing HTML, there's what's called syntax highlighting. So it just makes it a little easier to read code. Um, and a ton of other like conveniences, right? Um, but there really is no difference between, or not that there's no difference, um, the code editor isn't doing anything special to this file that a plain text editor like Notepad isn't already doing for you. It's, it's just making plain text. Okay, so starting with this email, um, I'm just gonna start breaking it up into what things are. So at the very top, we have our header, which is where we left off. So we have the, the sender, and maybe the sender should probably have an email in here. I didn't write that in the first place, fakewebs.com. Um, the, uh, the receiver and the subject are all a part of the header. Then after that, we have the body of the email. This is the actual like text that you read when you open up, um, or the message, the message that the uh, that the sender actually wrote. And then at the bottom of an email, usually you'll have a footer um, if it's for work, right? And this is this usually is text that the the author of the email didn't write it's just it's thrown in there automatically with their mail client so what we what we have going on although as humans we can understand that these are all separate things um, but to a computer it's not so clear so these tags allow us to write programs for computers that are able to read these tags and understand they see this opening header tag okay I'm, I'm about to read some content that is a header. When you see the closing header tag, the, the program that's reading this file knows, okay, this is no longer a header. What's the next tag? The next tag is a body, right? So it knows everything that comes after this tag is the body of this document. And then same with the footer. So it sees the close body tag, it knows the body's over, and then it hits the footer and everything in here is the footer. Okay, so save that file. I'm going to copy the path. And then let's open up our web browser. And I'm just going to paste the path into Chrome. And this is what we get. Um, so I don't know if, if you were expecting it to look like this or what you even imagined. Um, but there's not a whole lot going on here. It does does actually work 
Um, as an aside, I just I just want to note that the code that we wrote in the first video was not um, it wasn't standard compliant HTML, and neither is this. Um, yet both files actually work. And I'm just going to open up the developer tools. Uh, so I right click and then click inspect. And let's just take a look. Um, so some interesting things happen here. Uh, and this is because the code that I wrote is not is not actually um, proper HTML. But I just wanted to make the point that like HTML doesn't actually really do anything. It, it its only purpose is just to de to describe what things are. Um, and then it's the browser's job to figure out what to do with those things. Uh, so in our case, um, web browsers are kind of lenient about HTML. So it threw in this HTML tag in for us and we're gonna learn what, what that is later. Um, it threw in this head tag, uh, which isn't doing anything at the moment. And again, we'll learn about that too. The body tag, I didn't actually, I didn't put that body tag there. Um, if you look at the code, I put the body here. Um, let's just go back to the browser. Um, so the way an HTML document is supposed to be laid out, you have your HTML tag. Inside of that, you have a opening and closing head tag, and then we have our opening body. And the body is what it is you actually see in the, in the web browser. Um, you can see I have my mouse hovering over the body and it's just showing like the whole page highlighted. And then if I hover my mouse over the header, um, it highlights the text that I wrapped the header tag in. Um, this section here, the browser just decided to rip the body tag out on me. Um, and we'll, we'll look at what tag you're actually supposed to use there. I just use body as, as an example. And then here we have our, uh, have our footer, which is the text at the bottom. Um, and, and this really, this really is what markup is. Um, it's not intended to actually do anything. Like you don't write programs with HTML, right? You just tell the browser what things are. And then the way you make this look a lot more impressive is with CSS, which is a language to help you style these elements. And we'll get into that a little later in this series. Um, but for now, let's just look at how to actually make this be a proper HTML document so you guys have something to take away from this video. So I'm going to hop into our code editor. And uh, I'm just going to hit enter a few times. And I'm going to I'm going to build out a document and then we'll we'll just take those pieces and uh, pop them in where they're actually supposed to go. So the HTML that we're going to use in this series is called HTML5. Um, that's just the latest standard. To tell a web browser that you're using HTML5, you start your document off with doc type HTML. And actually I forgot the the bang at the beginning. So bang doc type HTML and then like we saw when I inspected the browser there, it, we open up with an opening HTML tag. And that's followed by a closing HTML. So what this is saying is I have a document that's written in HTML5. The contents of that document is between this tag, sorry, this, this opening tag and this closing tag. Everything, everything else that you write is gonna go between these tags. We're nesting it inside of them, right? That's that's what we mean when we when we say like something is inside a tag. It's between the opening and the closing tag. Um, so we we also need a head tag. So we have the opening head tag and the closing head tag. The stuff that goes here is not usually seen on the web page. This is where you put things um, like the title of the website um, the description for the website, um, whatever image gets shared. So when you when you copy like a website in the top of your browser and you share it on Facebook or, or Twitter or whatever, um, it's in the head where you 
where you put those images and all that text and then that's how services like social media sites know what to display when you when you share that information um, but where where the meat of your web page is going to go is between these two tags called the body and so again like none of this is it's not really doing anything um, there's no logic here there's nothing that we're um, we're not explaining to the computer or to the web browser what to do we're just saying this is what this thing is right um, so let's start with the header so we we describe what things are and then browsers have default um, sorry not body what do we want this oh this is gonna be a new tag um, browsers have default styles that they apply to these things. Um, for example, the um, like this text, the font that it that it chooses. Um, this is just browser specific, right? We're not we're not telling the browser uh, that this is the font that we want. This is just the browser's default. And we'll we'll get into styling in a later video. So the new tag is called div, um, which maybe isn't the right tag to use here. A div basically is saying a division or a section, right? Um, usually we try not to use divs because in HTML5 we have we have tags that are more semantical, tags that have more meaning that are easier to understand um, for search engine web crawlers and screen readers right so the header tag it's very clear what this is the div tag can be almost anything we're just for simplicity we're going to use it here um, so we're going to take the body of this email and it's going to go into our div here And then we're going to take our footer. Whoops. We're going to throw it here. Bam. And then we're going to delete all of this because we don't need this anymore. And so now this technically is a valid um, HTML5 document. Uh, if we ran it through a validator, we, I think we might get some warnings. Um, yeah, here. So we do need a title. We'll add that in a second. Okay, so we're going to go back to the browser, refresh, and freaking looks the same, right? Um, the only difference now is when we go into our inspector here, um, because we actually wrote like valid HTML um, you can see the, br the browser didn't do any work for us um, it didn't have to rip things out or add things in that that we didn't add that should be there um, but I mean the content the actual content the text is still the same the browser is not going to render that any differently than it did before and yeah anyway uh, this video is running longer than I was hoping it would run for, so let's try to wrap this up. Um, okay, so let's let's break some parts up here. I'm gonna ignore the stuff in the header and the footer in this video. There's there's tags in in both of these sections that I just want to wait to expose you guys to. But we'll start with just like the content of this or the body of this email. Um, so you can see here, like, there should be a clear division between, like, what, like, this is and, like, this section of text, the thanks and the John, right? Um, in our browser, it's all just on one line. Uh, so let's just take advantage of some of the browser defaults. Um, 
we're gonna call we're gonna call this section here a paragraph. So in HTML, your paragraph tag is just a P. So we have our open bracket P closing bracket, and then at the end we have our open bracket slash P closing angle bracket. And then I'll save that and hop back into the browser, click refresh. Um, and so yeah, basically what the browser did was it put um, the content of that paragraph, and let's just take a peek inside here. The, the content of this paragraph is on its is on its own line. Um, and again, with CSS, like you can totally control that. Um, I could change the spacing between here and the spacing between here. If I wanted, I can actually have this paragraph sit on the same line. Those considerations really should be um, they, they should be about style and not semantics. The important thing here is like this is a paragraph regardless of what we want it to look like. It is a paragraph and so that's why we wrap it in a p tag. Um, a really common mistake when you start when you first start with HTML is like well I want some of this text to be like a different size. And I haven't shown you these tags yet but one that you'll come across is uh, or actually six that you'll come across are these tags. So you have h1, h2, h3, and so on to uh, h6. And these are supposed to be for headings. Uh, so for example, I wouldn't I wouldn't actually do this, but just to show you what, what this tag does. If I uh, wrap this into a uh, h1 tag, <laughs> excuse me, um, you'll see the text just blew up. And that's just, again, that's just default styles for how this this web browser um, implements a heading. Uh, if I switch this up to an h2, save, refresh, uh, it gets a little smaller. And it keeps getting smaller until you get to h6. Um, and I see this a lot on uh, beginner like websites like Khan Academy. Um, well, actually, so I used to work at Khan Academy, and, and part of my my job was going through the issues that users were having when they're going through the HTML and CSS course. And like one of the most common issues was uh, one of the coding challenges is to write a poem, and you're supposed to use like paragraph tags. Um, and the grader would like kind of scream when students tried controlling the size of text with h tags. So they they would want like you know one line to be this like this big, right? So they would use like a h three because an h three was just like closest to the size that they wanted, um, and then they might have another line and they wanted that one to be you know like really really small basically they're, they're using the the HTML tags to try to style their text rather than just describe what the text is and so th this is this is just bad practice um, if you want if you wanted something to look this way really you should just use your tags to describe what each thing is so if it's a paragraph then you just use a paragraph tag and then you use CSS again which we'll learn about um, to control the size and the color or even the font family right anyway um, I think that's that's about it okay so what did we learn today first we learned HTML is not a programming language you don't actually make apps with HTML there are apps that are made with HTML but HTML by itself doesn't do enough to, to make an actual program it's just a markup language and I went over this a little too quick in the video but HTML stands for hypertext markup language hence the word markup in here and so what is markup markup is just code that describes what the parts of a document are right like a paragraph or an email or um, or a link and we'll learn we'll learn some of these HTML tags next video um, when we actually make like a real web page 
Well, that's all I have for today. Uh, thank you for spending your time watching my video, and if you have any questions or suggestions for videos upcoming in this series, uh, leave them down in the comments below. Cheers.